Hello, my dear ones. Happy New Year 2024 and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am coming on to do a card share and I actually did film some footage of me making, uh, of doing the coloring on this card. I haven't checked the footage yet to see if it's any good, but if it is fairly good, I might tack some of it on to the end of this video. Um, but I wanted to come on and share this card and uh, talk a little bit about the stamp products that I use to create it. Okay, um, I love these little penguins, and uh, this is um, a stamp set from Tracy Hay, okay, with Alpaca Pals, um, and uh, it's called What'll I Do, and uh, it's Tracy Hay's artwork. She's an illustrator. You can look her up and follow her on Instagram, and I will link her information down below. Um, you might remember a while back that I shared... Uh, these two cards, uh, Extra Ordinary, okay, and I love the way the sentiment has the word roar in it, even though I'm not pronouncing it well, but it's these sweet little dinosaurs, and these are baby cards that I created. I haven't used them yet because I haven't had an occasion, and then this one says you're dynamite, and it's two little girl dinosaurs, and uh, so they're just really sweet um, little baby cards. And these use a stamp set that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby a few years ago. And uh, this one is called You're Gonna Hear Me. Um, You're Gonna Hear Me Roar, I think. Is that the name of it? I don't know. But it was it, this one was done, um, commissioned by Hampton Arts. And these were sold at Hobby Lobby. And then they cleared them out. And I got this set for $2.49. Um, and... Uh, I, I have quite a few of her stamp sets, and for those of you that aren't familiar, I thought I would go through and just show you a few of the sets today um, that I have in my stash. So this is one of them, these cute little penguins. Um, there's this set here. This one's called P.S. I Love You, and uh, this one has these adorable little animals in it. There's a zebra. I hope I'm doing a good job of showing it on camera. There's this cute little zebra, and then there's this adorable little giraffe. And uh, it has hugs and kisses in it. Um, life is better in wellies because they're wearing their little welly, welly boots. And uh, it says, life is too short to be average. And I'm aware that I am rare. I'm aware that I am rare. And then P.S. I love you, which is the name of the stamp set. So, and these are just adorable. And I it has the word hey. And I love this little um, stamp that you can add for backgrounds and stuff. And Tracy does a lot of neat stencils and stamps um, featuring neat icons. Here's an example of that, for example. This one's called Doing Great. It says, With Love. It has this beautiful circle icon, which you can fit a lot of her images inside, or you can set them kind of standing outside of it with this behind them. It has some neat background little images that you can use to create backgrounds on your cards. And it says, just in case no one has told you today, you're doing great. <laughs> so I love that. And it's just a wonderful set. And I love the way she's incorporated text in the to the background of these stamps. It's just wonderful. So that's that one. And uh, the other thing that she does that I really like is she has a collector's list that she sends out when you do an order of her A5 stamp sets. And, it's, and, it, and it lists everything on here. And, uh, um, and then the A6 stamp sets are on the back. So you can check off uh, which ones you already own so you don't get confused. So those are nice to have. Um, I have this set here, which is called Falling For You. And this one, these little bunny faces um, and the little bear face are so cute. Look at the expressions on their faces. Can you see that? I'll get a little farther away, but isn't that sweet? And then look at the little bear. So, so cute. A little note from me to you, falling for you, so thankful for you. You are particularly wonderful. And then she has this sweet little fall banner leaf. And then the solid leaves in here also and a little heart. And there's even a little flower um, and some other leaves over here on the side. And I love this little heart flower in here also. So just a beautiful, beautiful set. You can certainly pause the video or also use your fingers to zoom in if you want to see the stamp set up close and you have a phone that allows you to do that. Um, this set is called Three Lions. And this one has three lions uh, in different positions. One's hanging from a star. Uh, one it has is just standing here with a beautiful expression. And then this one is sitting on top of a rainbow. 
And uh, it says, fearless like a lion heart, catch a falling star, be you bravely, reach for the stars, proud of you, and uh, get over it. <laughs> and then it has some little bub or a little pair of glasses, some little stars that you can use to make backgrounds, and some little hearts, and uh, a little crown too. So just an adorable set. And again, that one's called Three Lions. And uh, you can pause the video, or of course, you can also go to her website um, to look at everything too. So, and you can see her information is on the back of the stamp set here. Uh, so this is her on Alpaca Pals by Tracy Hay on Facebook. And it's Tracy D. Hay on um, uh, Instagram. And then Tracy Hay One over on Twitter, okay? So that's that set. And then this is one of the Christmas sets that I have. This one's called It Moose Be Love. And it has this cute little moose um, down here. I love that. It has a really neat Christmas tree that you can use to set a scene. And then all sorts of scenes in here, um, scenery items that you can use. I love these stars. Uh, one of my favorite stamps in this is this little bird fishing. And there's a little heart at the bottom of the fishing pole. And uh, you can make her ice fish fishing sitting next to the moose. Uh, there's just so many things you can do. And then there's another little bird down here. Um, there's just so many cute things that you can do with this set. It says the best way to behave um, is to moose behave. <laughs> um, it moose be love, adventure awaits, escape the ordinary, and Merry Christmas. So it's just a really sweet set. And I love her images. Uh, another set that I own and really like is this one. It's called Dotty Definitions. And uh, this one has all sorts of fun definitions that are in the round. And uh, it has a background that you can like put a light color down and then stamp this in black on top of it. And uh, so it has memories, dream, fabulous, friend, love, kind, and smile. And the definition for each one of those. So, and then she also has the words spelled out in a beautiful uh, cursive font. So that's a really neat one to add tags, um, like little tags to the your, to your, if you make a tag with one of the images, you can add those little round definitions as a second tag on the outside of your, um, of your little string. Uh, this one is called Daydream. And uh, I love this set. This is the cutest little deer in here, if you can see. Look at the expression on that deer's face. Look at the little owl. Isn't that just precious? I love these little hearts on the string. And uh, there's a whole one that you can use down the side of your card. You can create, um, you know, a rectangle on your card using the stamps that she provides. Um, this one says, wake up, smile, and tell yourself, today is my day. And that is the key to life. Wake up, tell yourself, today is my day. Make it your day. Have a positive day. She's got, you're a hoot. Um, together, my favorite place to be. Uh, this one says, um, sending happy hellos, or no, happy thoughts, sending happy thoughts. What a day for a daydream, and you're my favorite. And then look at the cute little uh, squirrel down here. Or it could be a fox, I'm not sure. But um, it's just adorable. And then she's got these cute little mushrooms. I love the one with the hearts. So just a wonderful, wonderful set to play with. Um, so that's that one. I still have a few more to show you. This one is called Sun Bunny. And uh, this one uh, has the two cutest little bunnies. Look at their little expressions on their faces. Aren't they sweet? This one has uh, this neat heart and some little round stamps inside. It has I love you, sending hugs, hi, um, somebody loves you. Distance means so little when someone means so much. Distance means so little when someone means so much. And again, this one's called Some Bunny. And this bunny with the long hat, I've seen so many cards, and um, it just makes me smile every time. So I had to get that one. Um, I've had that one for a while. I still, I don't think I've shown any cards on my channel with it. Sometimes I make cards for family members in a hurry, and I just don't have time to show things. Um, I'm trying to do better at filming things. Uh, this one's called Pullover Pals, and each one of the, the images, the animals are wearing a pullover. So this is two giraffes in a pullover. Um, this is one of her elephants, and she loves elephants. She does a lot of el really cute elephant images if you love elephants. And then uh, this looks like almost like a little hippo to me. There's a little bear with a little heart on its shirt. And then I believe this is the zebra um, 
from that other one. It's the same zebra face. It says, my favorite place is inside your hug. Life is better in a comfy sweater. And I love this one for winter time or fall. Life is better in a comfy sweater. Stay cozy. Warmest wishes. Let's snuggle. Oh, I just think this is such a cute set. XOXO and then Pullover Pals, it says at the top. And that is the name of the set too. So, and I love this little heart um, on a string also. And then there's this heart too. So lots of hearts in here that you can make little um, images on your cards uh, to do backgrounds and uh, different things or stamp it on the back of your card and put your initials in. So just a wonderful set, Pullover Pals. And that's a six by eight. Um, this is another six by eight set called Forest Friends. And the images in this one just, just make your heart smile. Look at her little expression on her face. Isn't she adorable? Oh my goodness. It says, uh, and then this is the other one at the top of the set. There, there's this little deer here. And then this one says, hello friend. Thanks. You are amazing. Blessed. Thanks so much. You did it. Yay. Get well soon. Relax. Embrace the chaos. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> Chill out. Uh, invest in rest. That's what this one at the bottom says. Chill out. Invest in rest. And then you can see all the other cute images. Look at this squirrel. Let me see if I'm in frame here. Look at this squirrel and the little hearts on the squirrel. He's holding a little heart banner. He or she, and then there's a little raccoon over here. I hope I'm showing these well. Um, so I love the, the robe and slippers on this little deer. Um, and then there's a little bunny down here in the corner. Look at that bunny. And then this little guy. Oh my gosh, he just makes me smile. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, I love the little flower. So wouldn't that be cute with chill out, invest in rest. <laughs> So that one again is called Forest Friends, if you're interested in it. And then the last one that I have to share with you, and she has many, 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 many stamp sets on her site. And uh, I believe she just did a set, is it with Creative Expressions or Laura, Lena? Oh my gosh. Anyway, one of the people in the UK just commissioned a set with her illustrations, and it's at scrapbook.com. I just can't think who it is right now. I'll try and link the information down below if I remember to do it. But this one's called Wind Me Up. And uh, this one has an alpaca. And each one of the animals in this set has a little wind-up um, toy, a little wind-up thing on the back. And uh, it's just so cute. There's a little bee. This little bunny has a little wind-up. And then the little elephant down at the bottom also has a wind-up. And it says, I may not be perfect, but I'm me. Um, and then it says, good things are going to happen. Good things are going to happen. Uh, there's this little heart down here at the bottom, uh, if you can see it, that has, um, uh, you know, little words in it. It says, uh, love you, and I think it's the word smile and love at the top. Um, and then uh, next to the elephant, you have this cute little button. There's the wind-up thing if you wanted to pop it up. There's a little um, movement thing for the bee. And, uh, and then it says, I'm not lazy. I'm on energy saving mode. Um, set goals. Smash the living daylights out of them. Be so damn proud of yourself and repeat. And I think that is the perfect sentiment as we go into the new year. Set some goals. Uh, smash the living daylights out of them and be so damn proud of yourself and then repeat. Um, and I think that's the key. Set little incremental goals. Um, a little at a time. Change occurs by doing little things over and over again over time. And we, they, we make them into habits. So I love that sentiment. Wind me up and watch me go. Keep marching on. Take me as I am or watch me as I go. So just a wonderful set. I love how she has the um, words kind of incorporated into the images on this set. So it's just such a sweet set. And again, this one is called Wind Me Up. And if you want to see this in, in more clarity, of course, you can go to her website and uh, or wherever. If you go to Instagram, she has so many cards posted, and I'm sure over on Facebook she does too, probably everywhere. 
but um, she's such a beautiful artist and you'll enjoy her feeds and uh, all that she shares. So those are all the sets that I have so far um, over the years that I've collected. And uh, I just wanted to play, you know, I do a de lot of design work for My Creative Time, for Lily of the Valley, uh, for um, Diana Markham through Adornet for her Recipe Stamp Club, and uh, Peachy Keen Stamps, and uh, who else do I work with? Red Lead Paperworks, um, different companies. And because I do so much design work this past year especially, I haven't had as much time to just play with stamps that I love. So I actually stayed up late tonight so that I could just play. And uh, I need some birthday cards. It's January and I have a ton of birthdays in the first three months of the year. And so I just wanted to put some cards together that I can use for birthday cards. And uh, this one I think is gonna go out to my niece, Jackie. She celebrated her birthday on the 1st of January. I called and spoke with her and told her I would be sending a card her way. So I wanna get this in the mail to her. And I just thought this was perfect. And it says, have a nice day. And then I'm on the inside, I'm gonna put a happy birthday greeting and write her a note. And then on the back, I sealed it up with some X's and O's. And the products that I use to make this card, aside from the stamp set that I already showed you, um, are this sweet uh, My Creative Time Let It Snow paper pad. And there are two different paper pads. There's the dot stripes and solids, and then this Let It Snow paper pad. And I love for winter time right now, these are wonderful paper pads to make all sorts of birthday and winter uh, themed cards. You've got all these snowflake pattern papers. Um, you've got some snowman pattern papers and cut aparts in here. And then in this one, you have all the coordinating solids as well as some polka dots and stripes that you can use. So they're beautiful paper pads. These are available at Emma's shop at My Creative Time. Emma is still recovering, you guys. She does have a road ahead of her, but I am going to be working with her tomorrow morning. Uh, we're going to try and do a little bit of work tomorrow morning on getting ready to do a retirement sale. So be prepared for that. We're going to be marking a ton of stuff down in the shop and uh, there'll be a retirement sale coming your way, barring any complications uh, for Emma, but I believe it's gonna happen later this week. So just be prepared for that, and uh, please keep Emma and her family in your prayers. I know that so many of you are praying for her, and it's so very much appreciated. And don't forget to shop at their store. Uh, Emma's mom is there, and she is sending stuff out as people order. So please feel free to place orders, um, and be aware that that sale is coming your way. So I used that product, and then the other thing that I used was uh, the My Creative Time XOXO border dies. I love these border dies because they're surrounded by love, hugs and kisses. And then I used the little XOXO, um, of course, to do the back of my card right here. Um, and I just cut that out of some glitter paper that I've had for years from Sizzix. And then this is one of the papers from the paper pad, as is this beautiful purple um, snowflake pattern in the background. And then I cut it, this out with the XOXO border die after I stamped my images. And uh, I, I used a few other things. I used this heart uh, peg stamp. This is from Stamps by Judith. And uh, they, these are nice to have. It's just a little open heart. And I did add a little bit of coloring inside the three hearts that I put up there. Um, and then this this little uh, snowflake stamp, If if you watch the... If I'm able to put the footage after this, you'll see this is a little stamp that comes in the stamp set with the penguins. And I just used it to create my background. And then I, I used um, one of my markers uh, like this, this little micron marker to draw a little uh, border underneath their feet so that they're standing on the ground. And I, I then also used some colored pencils uh, to draw the ground and also to do some shading on my images. These are from Prima and uh, it's color uh, 80, 109, and 119 are the colors that I used. And uh, that is what they look like. It's a gray, a brown, and a purple. And then just for those of you, in case you're interested in how I colored the images and the Copic markers that I used, I did keep them out on my table just so that I could show them to you. So those are the markers that I used to color the images, okay? And uh, I love how this card turned out. I just think these penguins are the cutest little stamps. I just absolutely love them to pieces. And I love um, Tracy's art. I think it's just incredible. 
And uh, while I have you, I was going to show you some of the other things that she carries that I really like. She always sends this little thank you in her orders when you order from her. And uh, there's, again, the website, alpacapals.com. And then uh, you go into the section where she has the craft supplies. But I also have these um, stencils from her that I've collected over the years. And uh, I love this one that's the heart background. And you can ink through this and you can draw through this. There's so many fun things that you can do with stencils. And so this one's a circle. And if you go to her Instagram feed, you'll see how she uses all these stencils in her art. Um, and they are just wonderful. So those that is my entire collection of Tracy Hay stamps from alpacapals.com. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed seeing this card made with my Creative Time products and with her adorable penguin stamp set. Um, and again, if you're interested in it, again, it is called Waddle I Do, okay? And uh, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And uh, I am looking forward to another wonderful year of Saturday Morning Makes with every single one of you. And uh, I'm so excited at some of the other hashtags and open art collaborations that are also being done. Um, Raina and Dale started one um, about using your stash. I think it's Crash Your Stash or... Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but if you go to my community tab, I try to share any... Um, uh, any types of collaboration uh, or hashtags that are going on in my community tab. So if you're looking for something, you can go there. My friend Nancy, who's the Handy Scandy, is doing snowmen in January. She talked with Anna and asked Anna if she could hijack that uh, hashtag and use it. So she's doing snowmen. I believe it's snowmen of January. I think that's what it is. Um, but again, it's in my community feed, or you can go to the Handy Scandies channel, Nancy's channel. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any more that I've heard about. There's, of course, Two Crafters, One Design with Mo and uh, with Melissa and uh, Lisa and everybody that plays along and Gloria. And uh, I'm sure there's many, many more out there. So I hope that you guys all enjoy um, this year, uh, 2024, and kick it off with a bang with lots of art and uh, stamping and crocheting and embroidery and baking and whatever you you like to do. Um, I hope that you'll share it, share it with all of us and hashtag uh, your posts Saturday morning make so that I can come and see what you're doing. And uh, I'm just so grateful to every single one of you. I am behind on viewing your art lately just because I've been dealing with repairs at my home. So I appreciate your patience um, as I try to catch up, if that's even possible at this point. But I will try to stay current with what gets posted as we go through 2024. Um, and I just look forward to everything. I want to give a big shout out to Jana for all she does over on our Facebook group. And uh, to everybody that supports one another and uh, makes this community such a special place. Thank you. And uh, I hope you enjoyed my sweet little penguin card. And I wish you all the best. All right. Bye now. Hi, you guys. I'm just going to come on and play with this Tracy Hay. Um, stamp called Waddle I Do. So there's the name right there. Waddle I Do is the name of it. And it's got these cute little penguins inside. And I love the penguin. <laughs> this one has little antlers on it. And then this one has a cute little hat. And their expressions are just precious. Um, and there's some cute sentiments to go with. And uh, so I just thought I would take you guys along as I at least stamp and play with these images. And this is the first time that I have used this stamp. So when I am going to play with a brand new image, I load it onto my block. And then to remove the residue from the manufacturing, um, I'm just going to rub my thumb over the image. And that will precondition it to take the ink when I get ready to stamp it out. So this is what I do with all my polymer stamps. You can also just stamp it and clean it and stamp it and clean it, but I just tend to do this. I find it easier and quicker. I'm gonna just use some Memento Tuxedo Black ink and we'll just make sure we get a good solid inking. to 
this side if I want to. I'm going to go this way and see if I can get a scene created here. Now, usually I would be stamping on something with a little bit of give, like a foam pad. But I don't know where my piece of foam is at the moment. I took it off my desk to film all those other things. Uh, so there's that. And I think I got a nice, good impression. So we'll put this one back in. And then I'm trying to decide what I want to do next to her. I think she's going to end up being that way, so maybe I'll do this one here. Let's put this one on. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing, but again, I'm going to condition the stamp with my thumb. Looks good. Oh my goodness, so, so cute. <laughs> Such cute images. And I don't know what um, sentiment I might want to put with this. I'm thinking about making a, a fairly simple card. What'll I do without you? Um, have an ice day. Uh, have a flippin' great day. Chill out. Mm. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just start by adding a little color to the beaks. color.
Oops. I wanted to bring some of the purple from here over to this image. <laughs> 